reserves. The gentlewoman from California is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Pallone. The gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Pallone, is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and a special thanks to you, Chairwoman Barbara Lee, and your team for putting together such a robust state and foreign operations bill. I really think this was a major achievement. I come here as the co-chair of the Congressional Caucus on Armenian Issues, and I'm extremely pleased to see $50 million in assistance to help bolster Armenia's ongoing democratic and economic transformations. This unprecedented commitment and funding will go a long way in helping continue economic, governance, and rule of law reforms while further strengthening America's strategic partnership with this young democracy. The language included in this bill also helps address the humanitarian needs in Artsakh as a result of the 44-day war perpetrated by Azerbaijan and Turkey last fall and directs an additional $2 million for demining programs. I also want to thank Chairman McGovern for his steadfast commitment to the Armenian people and share my appreciation for the co-sponsors of my amendment, which will pass as part of this package. This amendment prevents U.S. security funding to Azerbaijan through the International Military Education and Training, IMET, and Foreign Military Financing, FMF, programs, which is sorely needed to combat Azerbaijan's aggression in the region. So let me be clear, Madam Speaker, this bill sends a clear signal that we will not aid or tolerate authoritarian regimes that threaten peace and security, especially when those actions are aimed at a fellow democracy. And again, let me thank the chairwoman. Uh, I know that she's been a supporter of the Armenian people for many years, been to his district to see some of the Armenian Americans who, who really love her. So thank you again, and I yield back. The gentlewoman from California reserves. I think is the gentleman.